Okay, so what I'm going to talk to you about today is uh, is something that's probably happened to uh, become more prevalent over the last two years is is the idea of of theme frameworks. What theme frameworks are basically what they are are starter themes, and nearly any good web developer now will will develop with a starter theme. And a starter theme is a framework that sets everything up. It could be the SEO, it could be all the uh, all the um, responsiveness, which I'll get to in a minute, and all of the um, font management, all of the image management, video management. So basically, it gets a lot of stuff done before you even uh, begin your uh, begin the design of the website. So it basically takes care of a lot of things that that web developers have to do every time they develop a website. The other great thing about using a theme framework is that when you want to customize your website, you can pretty much make your website look and do anything from that framework. It's, a, it's basically a starter package. So when a web developer comes to do your website, instead of them having to build the SEO into it, build the, uh, build the image management, the video management, the, the social media integration, the um, SEO management, um, instead of them having to put, build all that from scratch, it's already done for them. So it allows you to build things a lot quicker, okay? And there are a number of them, number of them out there. I, I use a couple of different varieties, but any of these are very good, okay? And there's probably about 15 to, 15 to 20. What you want to look for is a, is a theme framework that's used, uh, that's used quite often and supported a lot, okay? Um, and if you look up, do a Google search for uh, WordPress theme frameworks, or popular WordPress theme frameworks, um, and 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 in Google search, make sure you get something. You can refine the search by date, so you can say the last year. So have a look at what people are talking about in the last year. Um, most of these are pretty darn good. Um, some of them are less supported, uh, but you should talk to your web developer about that because basically you don't want them building stuff that they could already just install in in. Uh, in, in less than a few hours and have up and running in a few hours and then they can customize your website from from that okay so um, so when you when you're doing a website the, the way it works is is you install WordPress just like normal and then you install the theme framework okay you get everything set up in the frame theme framework and then from there is your developer starts to develop the website on top of the theme framework usually as a child theme okay and that means that any customizations are only done in the child theme. And all of these theme frameworks are updated on a regular basis. So you can upgrade WordPress, the plugins, and the theme framework on a, a regular basis. And there's only one area where you have to go to modify your site um, in your FTP, and that's, and that's in the, the child theme. And that's basically where all your modifications, the way your site looks, the way your site behaves, are housed. Okay, so when you develop your next website, make sure you develop it with the framework. Okay, it'll save a hell of a lot of headaches later and it should save you a bit of money.